hello everyone and here with another Lego Star Wars review and all of the action battle echo base defense so here's the front of the box see the logos the border are from the beginning of the year and then picture of everything in action and age recommendation is 8 plus 7 set number is 75241 and has is about 504 pieces. Flip to the back. You can see, just like the Hoth generator set, that odd is all colored to the wood hardwood floor. Or here, unlike with the indoor one, it does have the regular color of which, and probably to match up with Hoth or whatever. You can see about ready to shoot the missiles and all the main features in there. And on to the booklet. On the front, the same picture as on the front and everything. And also thick field to it, just like in ideas set and whatnot. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with this set. And then add for all the 20th anniversary sets, which I have previously reviewed. Add for all the action battle sets, which I have just about finished reviewed. And then add for Lego Life, of course. So, first of all, for the minifigures, of which is the uh, a new Snow Trooper ones, of which is seen in the 20th anniversary Snow Speeder from this current wave as well as the action battle uh hot generator set as well if you want to see a better look at it well go check out my reviews on them Also, do get a Hoth Rebel Trooper, also same one in the Hoth Defense Action Battle set. Whereas with this set, also has one with a different face print for some extra variety. And also, what I forgot to mention is with the Snow Trooper ones, you get two of that in this set. Well, first off for the builds is the little launchers, which are the usual spring load launchers, but what's different with these ones is they're on small little bases, which the other ones didn't really, just a couple cones to the side. So you just have to like do it with hold it like that rather than you know, holding on to that, which what the cone pieces were probably for. So first build of which is this little base for it. See some just jagged slopes and all over. And also do get an interesting build holding the, the uh, Empire symbol target on it. And how it's done like is which you'll see in a moment. And as you see, it does have a snow trooper there with a little pistol on it, held on a jumper, which just fell off. Hang on. And as from the back of which, you see some technic pieces jutting out a bit. But there is a purpose for that. But as for the probe droid, see, it done pretty well, just about like in the a uh, hot attack set from a few years ago. Like, same build as that, and or kind of similar to that, but done good. And onto the feature of it is get it in position. And then, as you can kind of saw it, it jutted out the snow trooper.
don't know if it's um just online, but it was supposed to like knock the pro droid over. Or maybe I just didn't hit it far enough. But whatever. Like tell in the comments, does it work better on yours? Or have you got the same problem with it? Next up for the builds is the entrance of the Echo Base. As in, so first you get this, you get the like mini turrets with another Hoth Trooper on it. And also you get about three of the targets in it. So you get about three of each target in this one compared to like just the one with the other two. You get another spot to fit your hot trooper onto it, and also a stand to like stand up onto it. And so white jagged slopes all around, so at least it kind of fits well as a big large parts pack of them. And as from the back of it, quite barren, which they usually are in extra pistol being held there as well as oh, this little stand podium thing that kind of turns over and all and so for the feature of that is like right over there shoots it right knocks that one right off and like that right wing to the side and for the one above, right off, and for the one on the metal door, knocks him right over, so a little extra fun with this one. And then lastly for the builds is a miniature at aft, which and for the oh whoops for the build of this, just another one of it, but it's on some of those like rounded bricks that go underneath it, which to make it jut out, which will have to work for the main feature of it. And as with the at app has another uh, target sign on, to, uh, which will work with the snowtrooper on the top of it. But as for the head area of which uh, done pretty goodly like with some good stock techniques done with the like really new later newish small uh sideways panel or plate pieces but also good use of some of the like rounded bricks for the feet but, like the front ones do move but the back ones are fixed in a straight position which will work with the like feature of it. So good use of those pieces just like the larger ones from like 2014 and under. And now then on to this one's feature is where you can like aim it up and then to that and then oh whoops it didn't work down. He launches the snow trooper right off it. And then and then to the really fun one is so you hit the one under and tips right over, like in the movie. Because since of course it does have those like uh, curve up slope or inverted slopes underneath and some more of those those rounded ones as well. So, at least good props to that as well. And let me get everything in frame, and we'll call it a verdict. So the final verdict on this is 
this is which a a pretty cool set with plenty of places to shoot at and plenty of like like jump out kind of features and tumbling at at. So and if you're looking for a pretty cool uh, action battle set to play around with, then go ahead and pick this up. And if you're looking to add some extra stuff to a small scale hot echo base mock then definitely go ahead and pick it up. And that's it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.